The A4 will have 12 questions that can be about front suspension or rear suspension. This video focuses on front suspension and the alignment angles that are changed by worn suspension components. Technician A says right height is changed by sagging coil springs. Technician B says right height is changed by worn shock absorbers. Who is correct? The official test still includes a couple of technician A, technician B questions. Whenever you're asked about right height, think coil springs. Control arm bushings can change right height too, but the majority of the time, coil springs is going to be the answer. Out of camber, caster, and toe, which alignment angles do weak coil springs affect? And the answer, all of them. A sagging spring on one side in the front will cause the top of the tire to lean inward on that side. That's negative camber. If both springs are sagging in the front, the caster angle will go negative. In parallelogram steering, the pitman arm is indirectly connected to the frame via the steering gear. And the idler arm is directly connected to the frame. If the front springs are sagging, the vehicle ride height is lowered. Thus, the frame is lower. This changes the position of the steering linkages and the tie rods are no longer parallel to the lower control arm. The toe angle is changed. Weak springs will wear out the rebound bumper. If the spring is sagging, the frame has a higher likelihood of hitting the rebound bumper. Worn shock absorbers will also wear out the rebound bumper. Worn shocks allow more frame movement when hitting a bump. Worn shock absorber bushings can make a noise. Basically, all bushings can make a noise when worn. But do worn bushings change alignment angles? Shock absorber bushings do not, but worn upper and lower control arm bushings do. They can change the camber and caster angle. A strut rod is connected to the lower control arm and frame. It prevents the lower control arm from moving forward or backward. If the bushing on the strut rod is worn, the lower control arm will be able to move forward and backward. This changes the caster angle. Incorrect caster can cause a pull. And the change of angle will be most noticeable during braking. Therefore, worn strut rod bushings can cause a pull during braking. It makes sense, right? Worn sway bar bushings do not change alignment angles. Whenever you see anything about sway bars, think body roll. Worn upper strut mounts can cause a noise and they can change the caster or camber angle. This vehicle has a lower ball joint and an upper ball joint. How do you identify a load carrying ball joint? Easy. Follow the vehicle's weight force starting at the spring. So the vehicle's weight force would travel like this to the lower control arm, to the lower ball joint and to the wheel. Therefore, that lower ball joint is a load carrying ball joint. And the top one is a non load carrying, aka a follower joint. Where would you place the jack in order to unload this ball joint? Easy. The answer is under the control arm. That way, the vehicle's weight force will travel down to the jack. Here we have another example. This vehicle has a strut. The vehicle's weight force will go like this to the lower control arm, lower ball joint, and out the wheels. But now we have the jack stand in position, so the vehicle's weight force will go like this. The lower ball joint is now unloaded and ready to test. We're going to check for horizontal play. Our dial indicator is at the inner edge of the rim. At this point, one of my hands is on the 12 o'clock position and the other on the 6 o'clock position of the tire. And I'm going to move it in and out. Now I'm going to compare the reading on the dial indicator to specifications. You can also check for ball joint vertical movement. The procedure on this vehicle is to place the dial indicator under the knuckle next to the lower ball joint. You would then move the tire up and down by hand. Some procedures require the use of a pry bar. 
And that's it for front suspension components and which alignment angles they affect. Leave a like and subscribe in order to motivate me to make more. Have a good day.